question 15. Helen and Ivan had the same number of coins. So first we can draw a model to show that the two of them had the same number of coins. This is Helen, this is Ivan. This model represents the number of coins that the two of them had. Each of them had a mix of 20 cents and 50 cent coins. Helen had 64 20 cent coins. So I'm going to go to Helen and say this is 64. Twenty cent coins. I'm going to use a blue pen to write that. Twenty cent coins, and the rest in red will be the fifty cent coins that she had. While Ivan had hundred and four twenty cent coins, so this is the hundred and four twenty cent coins that Ivan had. I'm just going to cut the 104 into 64 and 40. So this is 64, this is 40, and they both add up to 104. 20 cent coins that Ivan had. The rest of the coins here will be his 50 cent coins. As always, when you cut, make sure you cut for all. So this is also 40 here. We do not know the total number of 50 cent coins the two of them had, but um, I guess it doesn't matter. Part A. Who had more money? Helen or Ivan? And how much more? If you look at the model closely, the part where I'm shading in green, represent the same amount of money for both Helen and Ivan because they are all 20 cent coins. In fact, 64 of them. So the amount of money there is the same in green. Likewise, these parts here where I'm going to shade in green also have the same amount of money because they are all 50 cent coins. So you can see that the only difference in the amount of money they had is the 40, 50 cent coins that Helen had and the 40, 20 cent coins that Ivan had. So if you want to find the difference, what you can do is to take 150 cent coins minus 120 cent coin, you will have a 30 cent there. And then there are 40 such 30 cents. So it's 40 times 30 cents, you will get $12. So that's the answer for part A. Who had more money? Helen. And how much more? $12. Alternatively, you can just take 40 times 50 cents, take away 40 times 20 cents to find out the difference in the amount of money they had. Moving on, the total mass of Helen coins was 1.134 kg. Part B, given that each 50 cent coin was 2.7 grams, heavier than each 20 cent coin, what is the mass of Ivan coins in kilograms? Now using the same model, in terms of mass, this part here, where I'm going to circle in purple, have the same mass because they are made up of 64 20 cent coins for both um, Helen and Ivan. Alright, and this part here in purple also have the same mass because they are made up of the same number of 50 cent coins. So once again, the only difference in mass is due to the 40 50 cent coins that Helen had and the 40 20 cent coins that Ivan had. And knowing that one fifty cent coin was two point seven grams heavier than one twenty cent coin, for part B, we can take forty multiply by two point seven grams to find out how much heavier the forty fifty cent coins are compared to the forty twenty cent coins. So if you work it out, you will get hundred and eight grams. So the mass of Ivan forty twenty cent coins was hundred and eight grams, or 0 0.108 kg lighter than the mass of the 40 50 cent coins that Helen had. Right. So in order to find out the mass of Ivan coins, we can just take away 0 0.108 from 1.134 to get the answer for this question and that will be 1. 
zero two six kg. One point zero two six kg.